I'm here at the Humane Society of Indianapolis, and if I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. Dog yoga, aptly named Doga. And we allow ourselves to have our dog face to face, and we chant three ohms. Now, say so you're a first time class member. What can folks expect from start to beginning in the class? How is a normal class structured from the time they walk in the door? Well, we allow ourselves to, um, to be quiet, to center, to ground, and we allow ourselves to, um, to just quiet the mind so that our dog feels that sense of... And that calms of, the dog. It really calms the from, dog. From inception, right? Yeah, it gives that dog a sense of peace, a, a sense of, of comfort. And then we begin to just move very, very slowly. So you're going to begin to massage your dog's spine, maybe one vertebrae at a time, the lower back. Stay with your breath and stay with your spine. Stay with a nice straight spine. And if you want to come forward while you're massaging your dog, feel free to come forward so you can give your inner thighs a really nice stretch. Come on. Come hey, Freddy. We're come on. so big. Yes, we are. Thank you very much, lady, for stretching me. It feels very nice. And I definitely get stretched and stronger every time I come. Now, would you recommend this class for folks who might be interested? Absolutely. Anybody that loves their dog and wants to hang out with their dog, it's, it's a great way to bond with them. I think she's thinking that um, this is kind of fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I like the fact that you're holding me and hugging me. It feels kind of nice. Exhale, bring your dog to center. Inhale out. Exhale, kiss your dog and squat. Inhale forward. Yes, a little unconventional, but hey, anything to get you moving and the added benefit of getting your dog moving as well. Guys, let's send it back to you.